War was inevitable. No matter how peaceful, diplomatic, or empathy-driven a species is, war is always present. No one really likes or dislikes war. The majority of the galaxy, as previously prey species, see it as a very precise science that needs to be calculated perfectly to maximise gain and profits from it. The ten or so previously predator species see it as craft. There is no right answer, and it requires will and coordination to be done right. The story was always the same. Soldiers would die, planets were taken, tribute was paid, peace and shoes, rinse and repeat. It was monotonous, really, and it would always be that way. When a new species reaches space, nobody really cares except for potential enemies. It's a sad reality that many promising civilizations are snuffed out early, but what can you do? It's just war, after all. It has always been this way, including when humans arrived. The Ace were pretty average by all standards. Granted, they learned surprisingly quick, but they were faster learners out there, so no congratulations there. They were added to the catalogue, all clean and easy. But the Dwiliathans had other plans for them. The Therocracy had just recently lost a mining system, and the home of the newly discovered humans was a prime replacement. With the added bonus of slaves, it really was a no-brainer. The plan was simple. Cripple their fleet, bomb their world's military complexes, invade and capture the system. As always, efficient, clean, ruthless. The first part of the plan went with minor complications, but it worked. Their weak fleet was destroyed, and the door for their Earth opened. There were some oddities among their tactics, like setting path to collide when the ship was crippled, usage of smaller ships, and staying engaged in losing battles for no apparent reasons. But what really shocked everyone was the invasion. When the Duliathians landed, they were ambushed tirelessly. The higher ranks had to hide themselves not to be targeted. The humans laid traps on their own land to blow up unsuspecting soldiers. They used fake models of their armoured units to confuse Duliathan officers. They set up camps right next to population centres, and fortified every inch of dirt that wasn't taken. They forced their own citizens into service and much more. But the worst part were the songs. It was theory that, for a species to rise out of their world, they had to be serious when it came to everything. War, peace, even entertainment. But humans? They spit in the face of every conceived notion of warfare with their jolly songs about ripping, and I quote, the fanatical lizards apart. They sang about a person called Johnny, and how everyone would be happy when he returned from the battlefields, how they would fight and die for their cause, and how much they missed their loved ones. One minute they sang about their hated war, the other one about how proud they were to serve their species. Whenever spies tried to hear something from their camps, they were greeted by loud and joyful music, sang by the soldiers and the generals alike. During standoffs, they would usually blast their war song of choice, and the Duliathans were so confused and puzzled that they decided to reform their entire doctrine around dealing with this one, irrelevant species. To this day, the war still rages on, humans are still holding out, and the Duliathan theocracy was mocked galaxy-wide for their choice to change strategies just to deal with some average apes, until one thing leaked from the front lines, a two-minute audio from a human source. We all knew what it was, and we all listened to it. We all wish we didn't.